The Easy Anchor mounting system simplifies the installation of a widespread lavatory faucet. The majority of the work takes place above the deck, saving you valuable time. Before we get going, you'll want to check your parts list to make sure you have what you need. You may need these additional tools and supplies for installation. Now that you have everything, you need to know which anchor goes where. The spout anchor is dark gray and goes in the center hole, and the hot and cold anchors are black and can go on either side. Drop the three anchor assemblies down into their respective holes, aligning the two notches at the top of each anchor horizontally. When they're all properly aligned, the lift rod should easily lay across the anchor assemblies sitting inside the notches. Look down inside each anchor and lightly tighten both screws using a power screwdriver or drill bit. Be sure you do not use an impact driver. As you are tightening, you will see two cleats pop out of the sides of the anchor and move upward as you go. Keep tightening until the cleat has made contact with the underside of the counter or sink. Then, grab your hand screwdriver and firmly tighten the screws so that the cleats are securely fastened to the counter. Repeat for the other anchors, making sure the anchors are still aligned before you move on to the next step. Find the end valve assembly that has two tubes coming out of the bottom and is marked with a hot label and place it into the left side hole. Make sure the thinner tube is closest to the spout anchor in the center hole. Check that the tubes and attached nuts have passed all the way through the anchor and that the notches on the brass body fit perfectly over the screws in the anchor. Also ensure that the valve is oriented correctly. For the hot side, the flat side of the stem should be on the left and the handle limit stop should be in the 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock position. Begin tightening the anchor nut by hand, then finish tightening it with the wrench provided. Do the exact same thing on the right side hole for the cold valve assembly. For the cold valve orientation, the flat side of the stem should be on the right and the handle limit stop should be in 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock position. Once the hot and cold valves are in place, find your square trim bases and attach them to the hot and cold anchors so that the trim base tabs and anchor slots fit together like puzzle pieces. Once the trim bases are in place, it's time to install your handles. Simply attach your handle onto the hot and cold stems, ensuring that your handle can be pushed all the way to the trim base. If it doesn't look flush with the trim base or the handles are not properly aligned, recheck your valve orientation and anchor alignment and adjust accordingly. Secure the handles using the hex screws and small Allen wrench that are included in the handle kit box. Now you can select from two options of handle button covers simply push them into the side of the handle. It is now time to install your faucet spout. Like the handle trim bases, secure the last square trim base to the center spout anchor using the tabs and slots. There are three circular holes inside the spout anchor, so take your spout and make sure that you thread the spout tube down through the front hole closest to the sink bowl. As you move the spout down toward the sink or counter surface, make sure the threaded spout shank at the bottom of the spout is inserted into the centermost hole with a spout post inserted into the back hole. Next, take the large Allen wrench that has been provided and slide it into the lift rod hole on top of the spout. Line it up with a hex opening down inside the mounting shank and turn it until the body of the spout is tight against the base. Once the spout is secure, screw the finial onto the lift rod and set it aside until you install your drain. Now let's move under the sink to connect all of the tubes. First, find the W fitting from the plastic bag. 
Using the push fit connection, insert the tube hanging from the bottom of your spout into the center of the W fitting. When it's properly inserted, you should not be able to see the line marked on the tube. Now, take your smaller tubes from under the hot and cold handle and insert in the same manner. If you need to remove the W fitting from the tubes, simply push down on the white ring and pull it off the tube. Now that the spout tubes are in place, you'll need to connect the water lines. Look at the ends of the hot and cold water lines and ensure they are free of debris. Loop the tubing if it is too long. Connect the cold water line to the cold supply line then hand tighten the metal nut to a snug position. Once hand tightened, give it one more complete revolution with the wrench. Next, attach the hot water line to the hot supply line and repeat the previous step. If you have custom fit supply tubes, you'll want to refer to the installation guide. Now we're ready to put it to the test. Make sure all of your connections are tight and then remove the aerator outlet from the spout using the special removal tool. Make sure both of your handles are turned on to full mix position and then turn on both hot and cold water supplies. Let the water run for a minute so that the lines are completely flushed of any debris before turning off both faucet handles. Finally, Reinstall the aerator outlet using the special wrench and check for any leaks underneath the sink. Clip your aerator wrench to the supply tube for future use. If everything is working properly and no leaks are found, then congratulations! You've successfully installed your Delta faucet with the Easy Anchor mounting system. Just another way Delta is more than just a shower. See what Delta can do.